Check out the new sign. Newest addition to the gym. Shout out Eva Jin, shout out Hani. What's up guys? Welcome back to episode two of the LF training series. We are getting into a shoulder workout today. Definitely one of my most frequently asked questions and one of my most requested videos is always more shoulder workouts. You guys love the shoulder workouts and I'm coming at you with a gnarly one today. It's going to be awesome and I also want to mention it's super minimal equipment, mainly just dumbbells that I will modify for something if you don't have access to it because I want to make sure that I can cater these workouts to as many people as possible. So for 99% of this workout, you're only going to need a pair of dumbbells. We are going to do something on the cable, but I will do a modification for those of you that don't have access to one. So we have taken the pre-workout. If you haven't noticed, I'm ready to go. We're going to start off with a shoulder press and let's get to work. Okay, we are kicking off the workout with a seated dumbbell shoulder press or seated military press. I usually start every shoulder workout with a pressing movement because I like to work on my strength with all of my pressing exercises, whether it be seated or standing or barbell, it doesn't matter. I like to push myself with the strength, so I typically do these at the beginning of the workout so that I'm nice and fresh. And I also love to start with the press because I feel like it's hitting all areas of the delt and really firing up those muscles for the accessory work that comes later. So just a few cues to note here. I am bringing the dumbbells down just below my ears at around 90 degrees. My feet are firmly planted on the floor my core is braced, my back is straight, I'm looking straight forward, and my chest is always up. So next up we have a fun little twist on your standard lateral raise, so make sure you stay humble when it comes to the weight. We are doing a typical lateral raise, but we are coming down super slow with the eccentric or the downward motion of the exercise. So we're coming up to parallel and then slowly releasing the dumbbells, even slightly pausing at the top. We're performing eight reps with those slow eccentrics and then performing eight reps at a more regular standard pace. Make sure you're not using your legs to swing and bounce the weight up and down. We are bracing our core, we're standing firm, and using the shoulder muscles to lift the dumbbells up to parallel and back down. Make sure you're twisting to point that pinky out as if you're tipping a pitcher of water. Okay, getting into the posterior delt with a cable rope face pull, you wanna think about pulling the rope not only towards your face, but apart so that you're getting that external rotation and really hitting those rear delts. And if you don't have access to a cable machine, here is the modification for the face pull. It's basically doing a face pull with dumbbells. So you're going to wanna make sure your torso is parallel with the floor and you're gonna pull the dumbbells up the same way you would pull the rope toward your face.
Okay, we have another very humbling exercise here with the lateral raise on an incline bench. So this takes all of the momentum from your body, meaning you can literally only use your shoulders for this exercise. I went very light and it was still super challenging for me, but you get a great range of motion and you ensure that you are really isolating that delt. heading straight into a bent over rear delt fly. So this is gonna be different than that variation of the face pull because my arms are much straighter and I'm not pulling the dumbbells up. I'm bringing them out with my pinkies out to really ensure that I am hitting that rear delt. It would truly not be a Lauren LF shoulder workout without a burnout gritty finisher. So here we go. We are doing a standing shoulder press for 10 reps, right into a standing lateral raise for 10 reps, right into a front raise for 10 reps, and right into a bent over rear delt fly with no rest in between all four exercises. So that completes the workout. If you try it, you better let me know. You better tag me. The shoulder pump is insane. Painful. I love it. I live for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. I will be back next week with another one. I'm sorry my hand is shaking. My shoulders are dead. Thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback on last week's video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Again, let me know down below any other workouts that you wanna see on this series. I am shaking so bad. Um, I'm thinking legs soon, but let me know what you guys want and I'll see you in the next video, bye.